Mathematical numbers. What is E? To find E, we're going to look at a particular problem to do with interest on a savings account. Suppose you've managed to find a savings account with an amazing 100% interest per year. So you start off with one pound in your account. At the end of the year, you'll get 100% interest. So that's another pound and you'll end up with two pounds. Now suppose instead of getting that 100% at the end of the year, it gets split up into two 50% payments, one after six months, one after 12 months, and you get compound interest. So that means you get interest on any interest that you've earned earlier. So you start off with your pound, six months in, you get 50% added on. So 50% of a pound is 50p. So after six months, you've got one pound 50. After 12 months, you get 50% interest again, but this time you're getting 50% of £1.50, which is 75p, so you end the year with £2.25. So although the two percentages is still out to, up to 100%, we're actually ending up with more money than we would have got with the one-off payment. Let's try splitting this up more. So now we're going to have four interest payments of 25% each, so again, they add up to 100. And we're going to get them at three month intervals throughout the year. So again, you start off with your pound. We're going to get 25% interest after three months, which takes us to one pound 25. We're going to get another 25% after six months. So that takes us to 1.5625 pounds. After another three months, we get 25% again. And at the end of the 12 months, we get another 25%, which means we end up with £2.441406, or roughly £2.44. So again, that money has increased. Now, is this going to keep happening? It seems like if we keep splitting our payments up into more and more payments, splitting that 100% up into more chunks, given out more frequently, that maybe this amount will keep on increasing forever. Well, let's keep doing it. So we've already seen that if you receive the 100% payment at the end of the year, you end up with two pounds. If we split it half yearly, you get two pound 25. And if you split it into four quarterly payments, you get just over two pound 44. But let's keep splitting this. If you had 12 monthly interest payments, you'd get just over £2.61. If we did it weekly, you'd get slightly more than £2.69. Daily, £2.71. Look what happens now. If we split it hourly, our number still starts 2.71. It's getting a little bit bigger. If it was every minute, 2.718. Every second is still 2.718. So you can see that this number is converging to a number beginning 2.7182. Now if we kept on doing this, making the interval smaller and smaller and smaller, like maybe looking at every half second, every millisecond and so on, this number would keep converging until we get a number that looks like this, 2.718281828459045223 and so on and so on. This is an irrational number, it never ends, it never repeats itself, and we call it E, and it is a very important number in mathematics. Now, there is another way we can calculate E. If we look at this formula here, E is actually equal to the sum of one, plus one over one factorial, plus one over two factorial, plus one over three factorial, and so on and so on, where that exclamation mark there, factorial, means you take the number and multiply it by all of the integers below it. So for example, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. The more terms you put into this sequence, the closer and closer you get to that value of e that we've already looked at. And one final thing to leave you with is a particularly beautiful equation, which was known as Euler's identity, named after the Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler. It looks like this. e to the power of i pi, add one, equals zero. What is so incredibly beautiful about this 
equation is it features five of the most important numbers in mathematics. You've got 0 and 1, you've got e, pi, and you've got i, the square root of the negative. 